some famous burger locations throughout Brazil, but more saliently for this audience, the King of Rio, the former two-time UFC featherweight champion, the one and the only Jose Aldo Jr. The only thing better than that hamburger is uh -huh. Jose Aldo's fighting ability. He can strike with anybody. The leg kicks, Jose Aldo has a combination that he's done at the start of his career. Left body shot, right leg kick, and nobody ever checks it from the knockout of Jeremy Stevens on that beautiful liver shot. To finish it, Moicano, Jose Aldo has a resume that is unmatched by many, which is why people consider him the greatest fighter 145's ever seen. Yeah, a lot of people buried Jose Aldo after the back-to-back -back losses against Max Holloway in 2017. He came back in a big way and has reestablished himself as a bona fide. Third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Do it. Right, so here we go. The stand up only encounter. We'll see if these guys can play by the rules. Not many rules, but you can't grapple at all. No wrestling of any kind. You also are not permitted to do follow up strikes on the floor. We are underway. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this one. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Clean punch. What a beautiful left punch had landed there. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one. So he continues to slow his opponent down, and a nice poker face on the other side. I'm not sure how many more he can take. He won't be able to take many more. Think about Edson Barbosa, how he lands those beautiful leg kicks, no wind-up so fast. Eventually, guys get stopped from taking too many. This seems to be the path that he is wanting to take tonight in this fight. Oh! Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Pitbull. 
So just over 20 total strikes have now connected for the heavyweight Andre Arlovsky. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all of his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer because right now, he seems lost to him. Oh, nice, nice. Big shot to the head. That'll quiet the storm shot blocked by out. That hook was bad. Aldo's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, nice jab by Arlovsky. Oh, we told you off the top that he had a reach advantage and he really is using it. Nice punch there. Great punch, landing with so much power. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. Oh. What an end to round oh. one. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one. Now the cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let us get you some replays after that round, and he is definitely dealing with a damaged nose now. We'll see if we can isolate the strike that caused the damage. Yeah, and there it is, right? It was this one right here that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's not a bad cut. The nose isn't demolished yet, but if he keeps hit getting hit there, it will be, and then everything becomes very difficult. So what he's got to do is he's got to move. He's got to be smarter in his approach in this next round. He didn't seem all that phased on the stool. The cut man has stopped the bleeding for now, but we will continue to keep an eye on this developing storyline here as this fight continues. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him. Continue on the path and make the ringside position. Come in here and try to stop this fight. Well, he was setting up the hooks early and often tonight. Watch for him to try to set it up again here. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are gonna have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. So 55 total strikes that have landed now for Andre Arlovsky. Striking at a 57% accuracy rate against Jose Alvarez. Oh, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Aldo's been dealing with that cut on his nose for a while, and now it is just pouring blood. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job. There it is again. Look at that. Beautiful shot lands to the leg there. Oh, back there. Oh, he's hurt bad. Well, you know, Rogan's pissed he missed this one. We are witnessing an instant classic. Back and forth we go. Both fighters have been on the cusp of being finished, and both have exuded a ton of heart. Yeah, they both show heart, courage, ability, technical skills. I can't really tell you how these two are still in the fight with the damage that they both are exhibiting on their face. Well, not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around here. It feels like the finish is there for the taker. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush, be patient, and in that patience, you'll find the punch. What a connection right off the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's so very bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. He's hurt again. Now we get back to 
his feet yet again. Oh, but not. to digest in that round. All right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, so as the cut man gets to work, we'll re-rack some replays.